Hey, welcome back. It's back to the basics. I'm Sean Barr, and we are talking a router versus a firewall. If they got in a little fight, who would win? I don't know. Well, that's what we're going to talk about. Why a router? Why a firewall? Why are they different? Let's go! Hey, welcome back. We are talking router versus a firewall. What are the two big differences? Why would I choose a router? Why would I choose a firewall? And, you know, differences. What are they? So, real quick. So, a router has a lot of connectivity options, whether it's PRI, T1, Ethernet. There's a lot of connectivity options. Firewalls, just really Ethernet. So, those are one decision criteria. The next is really the big thing, like security. How secure is a router versus a firewall? This is kind of an age old question. What's more secure, a router or a firewall? It's kind of, could be a really a tw trick question. Um, the, the answer is you could probably make a router have similar security capabilities and functionality that a firewall does. So you could do ACLs, you could do stateful inspection. There's even some anti-X capabilities coming down into the routers, but natively firewalls have a little bit more of those anti-X capabilities. And what are anti-X capabilities? It's like anti-malware, antivirus, all of that stuff. But the big difference is a router, when you pull it out of the box, by default, the router is open, meaning it'll pass all the traffic. So you've got to go in and deliberately configure it to stop traffic. A firewall, on the other hand, out of the box natively basically blocks traffic. So you have to create ACLs to allow it. Now there's some other things that are coming out, zone-based firewalling capabilities for routers. Give it that firewall-esque type feel. So what are the main differences? Well, I guess out of the box, a router has a lot more capabilities when it comes to routing protocols, when it comes to QoS and those core functionality, has a little less capability when it comes to like VPN client, uh, policy management. Some of those things are a little bit better on a firewall. Why would you use a router versus a firewall? Typically, if you have if you have a small branch and you want to kind of consolidate all the infrastructure that's at that small branch, you'll use a router. and. Uh, it has a lot of those features of a, of a firewall, and the, one of the other reasons is it has WAN capabilities like DMVPN. We'll put a link down below. To, we'll talk a little bit more about what is DMVPN. Well, it's WAN connectivity uh, through VPN, IPsec tunnels, and GRE and routing. You can't really do that on a firewall. So those are the main differences. So w picking one versus the other, really, you know, you ideally you do both. You'd have a router for your WAN, you'd have a, a firewall for your internet connectivity, but in small environments where you just want to limit what's out there, you're going to have to make a decision. And so based on a couple of those things, you know, what kind of what kind of circuits I'm terminating, what kind of features and functionality do I need, and what type, type of security do I need? So how do you choose? Rewatch this video, think about what you need, and you're going to have to make a compromise if you have to pick one or the other. Best of both worlds, get two. All right, if you had any, if there's anything I said in this video that you're like, dude, give me more, comment, like, subscribe, do all that stuff, tweet me, smoke signal, all of it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.